everyone and welcome back to our channel now today we have a fun dining mm -hmm. review for you we're at disney springs and we're actually heading to the polite pig today mm. now you guys all know we love barbecue yes. we actually did the one of the last dining reviews we did was at the new restaurant mm -hmm. roundup rodeo barbecue and it was so much fun the food was delicious we also done whispering canyon as yes, well we at mm -hmm. the wilderness lodge so make sure you check out those videos because we're gonna do comparison today now this is not a full sit down restaurant but mm -hmm. it is a quick service restaurant and uh, we're just excited because yeah. it is very popular and this will be our very first time <laughs> so come along with us and let's pig out <laughs> politely on this magtastic production we are inside the polite pig i'm very excited well we should say we're both very excited we love 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 guys barbecue now this is a little bit different. This is a little bit more modern of a barbecue a place. It's more casual dining with an American flair to it. There's a beautiful bar where you can get uh, special types of bourbons and you get beer on tap. Um, there's also areas where you can see the food being prepped and then there's also an area where you can see them seasoning the meats and prepping the actual meat so that's so awesome the ambiance in here is very nice and relaxed and it makes you feel at home there's even a sauce bar where they have different types or several types of barbecue sauces so we don't know which one we're gonna like the best now and they even sell the barbecue sauces if you really like one of them here so it's really cool we can't wait to dig in this is what we order here we got the butcher board uh, it's a polite uh, pork it has smoked chicken it has the prime brisket cheddar sausage with slaw house pickles two cornbreads and a choice of two market sides and those sides that we got here as you can see, we're the side right here to the right. <laughs> uh, we got here the the crispy Brussels sprouts. We also got the grilled street corn. And I love, I love baked beans. So we got the polite baked beans uh, that accompany this awesome butcher board. Now they also have shareables. We also got here, I love chicken wings also guys. Uh, we got the glazed chicken wings. That comes with the apple cider bourbon and sogum chili. Uh, we also got here the small batch cocktails. Map has got here the grapefruit margarita. Uh, it comes with the corazon tequila, citrus, grapefruit liqueur, and I got the famous polite punch, which is the moonshine, pineapple, and cranberry. And just to give you a quick look on what they have, also of what we ordered, uh, there's the shareables here. We have more salads over here. You have different types of sandwiches that they offer, as you can see. Uh, we have from the smoker. If you don't want to get a plate full of everything, you know, they have separate uh, a la carte, like half chicken. You can even get salmon here, pork shoulder, USDA prime brisket, cheddar brats, smoked turkey breast. Lots to choose from here. And I showed you the sides here. These are more of the extra sides you can get along with your meats. You got desserts right here, like the offer. They also have just for kids a kids menu here. They also get uh, uh, it gets to eat fun with the <laughs> with the barbecue. As you can see here, they have the mac and cheese, the barbecue meatballs, uh, a smoked pork slider for the kids. I love that. Uh, here more in depth of the cocktails other than what we got. Uh, we have also they offer beer. Magma said they have lots of uh, taps, different types of ciders here, uh, slot seltzers, wines, beverages. All, uh, and then over here back of the menu here you have it's also a bourbon bar so you have all these types of different bourbons here and the pricing here if you love bourbon you'll love the polite pig guys look at that the list goes on and on how many bourbons they have here and they all range from different prices here and even have rice wow look at that awesome awesome menu lots to Lots to offer here. If you love barbecue, you love beer, you love 
a bourbon, this is the place to go. Wow, this grapefruit margarita is so good and refreshing. And you guys know that I love margaritas, especially a good margarita. Oh, and I love how they put a lot of salt around the rim, which I love. And it tastes so fruity and tart, but kind of sweet at the same time. It's super delicious. Oh, wow, let me try it one more time. Ooh, I get that nice grapefruit kick at the end. Bam. It's so good. I'm gonna give this a five out of five, guys. Wow, five out of five yeah. for the margaritas. So I definitely recommend this. Wow, not how's bad, that? Not bad. It's really good. I wish the moonshine was a little bit stronger here, uh, but the pineapple and cranberry, they mix well together. And I love the garnish here with the orange here and the cherry. Mmm, <laughs> really good. <laughs> so it's more of a fruity drink. More fruity drink. Less more, less sun, less moonshine, more on the fruit, but very refreshing. Ooh, that was very tart. I, I think that was a cranberry or, or cherry, I'm not sure. <laughs> but the polite punch, I definitely recommend this. Awesome. What do you give it? I would give this a four out of five. Oh, that's, that's, good that's pretty, pretty high. Really up good there. drink, yeah. Delicious. Look Apple at cider. The wings. Yeah, chili there. And they also have the bourbon. As you wow, can see. it's beautiful wings there. Look yeah. at that. Mmm, yeah. and it's like like carrots on the side exactly. too. I love it. Wow, the sweetness of the apple cider, yes. the bourbon, and that chili kicks in. Mmm, wow, these wings are super sticky. So you can see there on my on my fingers there. <laughs> oh, yeah. But they are delicious. Oh my god. Wow, I love the combination of ingredients that they have here. And you can see that the, the skin is nice and crispy also. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. I give these wings about, I'd say a four out of five. Four wow. out of five for the wings. Yeah, That's really nice. Good. Yeah, if you like the bourbon taste, the chili, and that apple cider, mmm. So good. Awesome wings. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, don't worry about the getting dirty because they have a big set of paper towel on every table. So Magnus is gonna try the first sauce here. This is the Little John Signature Porter Sauce. It's a touch of honey and black pepper and is balanced by the multi flavors of the CNL Working Man Porter uh, Reduction. Wow, this Little John sauce with the brisket. Look at the brisket, how thick it looks right here. Look, this is a big, let me take it off right here. And this right here is the coffee. They bathe it with like coffee uh, wrist on the side here. So good. But all together, look at this, so good. And mixed with this sauce, it's a sweet, like, tangy, spicy, but not like I mean, You taste the black spicy. pepper in there, right? The black pepper in there, yeah. so good, oh my God. Mmm, the brisket is so soft and tender. I think the best brisket, this is even better than Roundup Barbecue. So, what would you give the sauce rating? I'm gonna give this a five out of five. Wow, and the brisket and the itself? Brisket, five out of five. Wow, awesome combination. Oh yeah, combination. I can taste the pepper right now. There you go. <laughs> mm, but I think it's the coffee rub. Yeah, It's really a coffee cool. rub, guys. Wow. And they put on here too. It has a little bit of a very strong smoky flavor. Oh my God, this is five out of five, definitely. <laughs> Up next, we have Leda Sweet Sauce. As perfect as it is namesake, this tomato-based sauce gets its sweetness from molasses, honey, and brown sugar, just a touch of cumin is added for good measure. Wow. Mm. Now this barbecue sauce, this was definitely, you can tell it definitely barbecue all the way. And it is because of the molasses, makes it a whole lot sweeter. So if you're not into super sweet barbecue sauce, this would not be for you, but overall, oh my God. So five out of five for the Wow, another sauce. five out of five, nice. And Actually, you know what? Let me take that back. It's a little too sweet for me. So uh, it's a four out of five. Knock it down a sauce. point. Uh -huh. Knock it down one because it's a little too sweet <laughs> for me. The pork now. Oh my God. You guys can see here. Let me show you a little bit of a bigger piece here of the pork. Look at this pork, guys. Yeah, that's a big Yeah, that's a lot, lots of pork there. Mm, big piece. Yeah. Mm. The pork is tender. Mm, it just, you don't even need a bite. It is so good. Wow. Wow, the molasses is a little bit tangy. It gets you in your throat if you're not careful. But five out of five also for the pork. 
it's cut you can get it either in the uh, and what do you mean by tangy because a lot of people don't know what, you're, you're, what you mean by tangy he means tangy I mean, I, when i say tangy, tangy i mean tangy yeah so you go. Tangy. <laughs> that's my special yeah word. so tangy if you guys know we should, my make it says tangy it means tangy it's tangy it's yeah. so good and again back to the pork and the pork is super delicious so the pork you can get it two ways cut or pulled or pulled yeah. so i was trying to explain that i don't think it came out the proper way so cut or pulled it's really good so five out of five for the pork and four out of five for the sauce up next we have here the thomas southern gold it's a mustard and vinegar based uh, this tangy sauce was bought to the u.s by german settlers it pairs perfectly with our luscious chopped pork now since this goes well with pork i'm back to the pork yes but this oh my god i think this is <laughs> my second favorite so far really yeah because of the vinegar flavor and the and mustard? mustard flavor and i'm a big mustard girl so she i does. like to put mustard on everything mm -hmm. i don't i don't know if you know, most Cubans like me love putting mustard on their sandwiches, on their Cuban sandwich, and a lot on their food. Uh, and your hot dogs too. You and my hot dogs, hot dogs <laughs> I gotta have my ketchup and mustard. There's mm -hmm. no hot dog or no sandwich for me that doesn't have mustard. But this is re it's really delicious. Yeah. It's fantastic, and it's really good, just like they said on the menu. It pairs up with the pork, right? With the pork. Mm. It gives it that extra mm. It's kind of like if I was eating pork with, with mojo oh you guys love mojo yeah with, uh, that's a seasoning spanish seasoning sauce yeah. and the vinegar really fantastic so i give this a five out of five for this sauce and with that pork delicious and lastly we have the barbecue ranch a traditional alabama white sauce loaded with celery seed and spices to back the vinegar based white sauce and is used for all smoked poultry items and vegetables ah uh, this chicken is great guys Ooh, and i love the skin on this nice and seasoned and it goes well with that barbecue sauce, as I mentioned before. Wow, yeah. Oh, look at that. It grill. looks, yeah, it looks really good. Wow. I give that sauce, I say about a three out of five. It does go well with the chicken, but the chicken itself, I give it also a three out of five. I do like the wings better, the, the, the glazed wings, but the pairing with the, with the sauce and this wonderful chicken here, I would say, yeah, all together, I would give that combination of four out of five. But by themselves, three, three out of five for each. Still really good chicken. Wow, guys, baked beans. These are excellent here. It's a tomato glaze with molasses here. So it's very, it adds a, quite a sweetness to the beans themselves, as you can see. And they have this, I'm not, it doesn't say what it is, the crunchy part of it. It looks like kind of like red it looks crumbs. looks like red crumbs I'm on not it. sure. Yeah, it looks like little bread crumbs or cheese crumbs. But I'm sure of the taste. Yeah. That's a five out of five for me for baked beans. Now, how is that, if you give it a five out of five, how is that compared to Roundup Rodeos? <coughs> Roundup Rodeos, I think I gave the baked beans like a three out of five. They weren't so, they weren't sweet enough. These were sweet. This is actual baked beans, yeah, right? Excellent. I can eat this by myself. How Sorry, about whispering, <laughs> at whispering Canyon? What do you think? Mm, we weren't given a rating scale there before. But they were pretty good. I would say those good. were better baked beans than but what makes we had around them. Great is the molasses. Yes. Excellent. It's magtastic. The sausage is actually pretty good, better than I expected. I mean, mm. it's not like the best sausage for me. Yeah. But it was pretty good. Mm, it's nice and soft and it has a nice smoky flavor so you can see the inside here oh yeah and nice i see the cheese in there yeah. the cheese in there that's why it's a little softer yeah i forgot i had the cheese the in there the cheddar in there yeah let me see how it tastes with like the mustard oh my man just loves that mustard that one. mustard one that is gold. good yeah let me see look at that mm. <laughs> mm. oh yeah that yeah that, little... that... Mm, fantastic so how is the sausage by itself, without the sauce? I'll say by itself, I will give it a three out of three five. Three five, okay. Just for the sausage. Mm -hmm. And then uh, with the sauce? With the, with the sauce, mm -hmm. the mustard sauce. Oh my God, I would say a four out of five. Four out of five, five. awesome. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> oh my God, these ribs are mag -tastic. They're out of this world, they're so good. Look at that, look at how juicy. They're not dry. Look yeah, at all I the see a lot of sauce, sauce on, them. on there. Yeah. Nice and sweet. Look at the bone. It came right off the bone <laughs> when I did it. Look at a piece of meat still yeah. there. 
Wow, it is so now, good and smoky. Now you asked me before, compared to Whispering Canyon and uh, I would say Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. This is number one for me. Wow. I would say Whispering Canyon number two and number three Roundup Rodeo. Okay, there you go. You see guys, the Polite Pig is so far, the barbecue, I think, is, is it's it's passing, a, surpassing those surpassing other two. Surpassing the two sit-down restaurants. Yeah, yes, this is so good. Oh my God, definitely recommend it. Five out of five for me. This is pretty good. Ooh, it got a little spice cake yeah, there. That's that Chipotle in there. That Chipotle, yeah. <laughs> now, do I think it's better than Roundup Barbecue or Whispering Canyon? I say is not. Unfortunately, the corn oh. does not beat Roundup Barbecue. I thought the corn and Roundup Barbecue the Roundup was Rodeo. Mm -hmm. well done. Mm -hmm. Very street, street kind. Yeah, street style. <laughs> or street style. Street style, yeah. Um, Whispering Candy, if I recall, it was pretty decent, but it wasn't like, oh my God, either. But I would say I give this a three out of five. For the corn, okay. It's not bad. But the reason why I give it three out of five is a little too spicy. Little oh, chipotle, good chipotle, it's yeah. kind of like a... I don't know, I'm not like fond of the Chipotle um, sauce on it. I do love the breadcrumbs on it, but other than that, it's a pretty good, and the size is a little too small for my life. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, the one in Roundup was big, and it was like clustered with butter. Yeah. It was just so good over there. But this is pretty good. So three out of five for me on the board. These multi pros are not bad, but they're not less in the air. Brussels sprouts, not even close. It just that, it, it has whiskey caramel, but I wish that it was a little bit more sweeter. They are roasted though. Yeah, it looks pretty little, good. A, it lacks a little something like compared to the other Brussels sprouts that we had. Probably the sweetness yeah. or... But overall, they're not bad. I would give them, I would give these a three out of five for the Brussels sprouts. Okay, okay. Not bad good, then. But not, <laughs> not great. Wow, the cornbread is pretty good. I mean, it's nothing really special, but Woo, the cornbread you see that has a little jalapeno in there. Pieces of jalapeno, yeah. Yeah, I've never had a corn with jalapeno. Look at it right here as well. Mm -hmm. And it gives it that little extra kick, so it's kind of sweet. And then you get in the back of your throat, you get that little kick to it at the end. It's so good, and you guys know we love cornbread. Yeah, we do love cornbread with this a little kick now. This is pretty good. I would say, I would say four out of five. For four out of five, not bread. bad. Wow, pretty really good. good. So big. Let everybody know how, what you think so far of the Polite Pig. So far it's great, it's a great barbecue. Um, overall, this barbecue meat, to be honest, you don't need the sauces. As compared to like Roundup Rodeo barbecue and to Whispering Canyon, the meat alone on Polite Pig, you don't need the sauces. The sauces does enhance it. So you think the meat is good quality meat Good quality. Then? Uh, you don't need the sauce at all. Um, I still like personally, I like the sauce better at Ronda Rodeo Barbecue. I love that sweet sauce. That sweet sauce on anything brings it up a notch, like a point higher. Wow. So I know over there I was a big fan of the sauce. The sauces here are not bad. I said my favorite is the Little John and the sweet sauce. But the molasses. Too, the molasses. Uh, but if you mix it together, it makes it really good. But I still think, because I'm more of a sweet sauce kind of barbecue guy, I still think that the Ronald Rodeo sweet sauce was the best. Like one of the best sauces I've ever had. It's so thick too. These, so I wish these sauces were added over to Ronald Rodeo barbecue. And you get rid of the original and the spicy one over there. Those sauces, are, uh, those sauces are not as good as the sauces here. Yeah. But um, but like I said, you don't need the sauce here for polite pig. That's how good the meat is. How would you rate all the meats? I would say the beef brisket was still my number one. The beef, Both yeah. In Roundup and Whispering Canyon, I don't mm -hmm. know the briskets are like Disney does them so good or I agree. each restaurant brisket does good. it in their own way. And the and pork all brisket. Been now the pork brisket was my second favorite here. That was delicious. Now I do, we do recommend, or I recommend getting it cut. Getting it cut instead the pork of pulled. cut instead of the pulled pork. Yeah. I think you get a. It's more fun because you get to dip it. Yeah. Instead That's of the pulled pork. Part. Yeah. Exactly. Instead of the I agree. Pork, it's already you know, shredded for you. Already comes so you with get the like, sauce. You get double brisket in the yeah. same form factor, the same mm -hmm. slice cut. And so. it's so fun, so good, and the meat is very nice and tender, very juicy. It's not dry. Like you know, some people probably don't get it cut, think it's gonna be dry, but exactly. it's not. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I would say my third. No, Favorite second is the of, ribs. The, well, the oh, second, third, yeah. Well, it will be my third. I say both briskets, briskets yeah. So both briskets are good. 
Um, the then ribs are yeah. really good. The here. ribs, you don't need sauce. You don't need um, a sauce with it at all. Whispering Canyon, I remember the ribs are really good and tender, yeah. but you have to put sauce on it. Like yeah. alone, it wasn't that great. Mm -hmm. um, you have to use sauce. Roundup bar, uh, Rodeo huh? Barbecue. Yeah. You need the sauce. You do need the sauce because that it sauce doesn't so come good. with the sauce. You can <laughs> eat so it alone good. with the sauce, but that sauce yeah. made it give that it a little sauce, extra guys. oof. Yeah. Uh, I say it, yeah. extra notch, mm -hmm. a little up a notch there, like Paul says. Um, but I say the ribs here, the good thing about it, you don't need a sauce with it. It already comes with that nice barbecue flavor on it. Exactly. And you can see the shininess. Mm -hmm. Soft, and you rip it apart, it like comes off the bone and the meat is nice and tender, so it's mm -hmm. really good. Juicy is not dry Definitely, at all. Definitely, yeah. Um, I, I didn't like the corn. Unfortunately, that was a disappointment for me because I'm a big corn person. I love street corn, so that's that was it. That was so delicious for me. The coleslaw was pretty good. The, the cornbread was really good. It was a little bit different for the cornbread. It wasn't as sweet as we expected. Yeah. So I know Paul said he was there. Yeah. It was okay. It was okay. It was a little, little bit sweeter. I like I like my cornbread it. sweet. So yeah, I had the little jalapeno in it. Yeah. Was really good and different. Um, I would say the um, Brussels sprouts. They were not they were bad. Not last a year. But no. They were pretty good. They were pretty good. I still so, give it a three out of five. Yeah. So. I I give the, the Brussels sprouts. I really liked it. I would say a four out of five. Okay. It's not a five out of five mm -hmm. like last year, but it was sweet enough for me. Uh, the difference from last year is that they fry it versus here. I don't think they fry it, but it's pretty yeah. good. So I think it's overall. Everything was delicious, and don't forget those wings. If you guys get the shurables, which are yeah, like the appetizers, the appetizers here, get those wings. The wings were that we? jam on yeah. that barbecue jam on it. Oh no, the, the God, it was it's, uh, bur bourbon. It's bourbon and the apple bourbon, cider. Bourbon, yeah. apple cider on it. Oh my the bourbon. God! Mm -hmm. And I'm not a huge wing kind of yeah. person, but a couple of those wings with maybe some fries and a couple of drinks. You're good to You're go. Good to go yeah. It's so delicious, so good. So definitely a uh, five out of five for the wing for us. Really good. So we really so far we're enjoying. Now we're just waiting for dessert. For dessert here we have the Magnus got the fruit cheesecake. As you can see here, it's topped with blueberries, blackberries. You have two, you have actually a big strawberry cut in half here. You got some of that drizzle here, and they give you two pieces of uh, cheesecake. Oh my god. I think this is one of the best cheesecakes or fruit cheesecakes I've had anywhere. Wow, and oh Magnus, to goodness. be honest, Magnus not a huge fan of cheesecake. She don't love it, but she don't hate it, you know? I I like cheesecake, but I'm not like you. It has to be like something really good, like this. Yeah. <laughs> the presentation is so beautiful. Presentation alone, I give it a five out of five already because it's beautiful and wow. It's like, you want to eat it. <laughs> but at the same time, you don't want to get into it because it's so pretty. Yeah. But as soon as you taste it, it's like, the outer part is kind of like a little steadier, but once you cut into it, it's nice and soft, and it has that perfect, not too sweet, but not too yeah, look at that. either. So it has, and with the fruit, look at this big- Blackberry there. Blackberry there, and, and blueberry. And blueberry there. Oh my God, and then it has the, the strawberry syrup there with the strawberries right here. It's just so deliciously good. So to end your meal, if you're looking for something light, this is the way to go instead of something heavier, but this is wonderful. Mm. Oh my God, five out of five. And my dessert here is a pecan uh, pie with a bourbon drizzle on it. It looks really nice. The presentation is beautiful. Wow, guys, this bourbon pecan pie, if you love yeah. pecans, you like the taste of bourbon, this bourbon drizzle on it, it is so good. Look at all that drizzle on there. The crust is nice and uh, flaky. The pecans are delicious. It's moist on here. Look at that. Yeah, I, we can see that, it looks delicious. Mm, my God. <laughs> you can taste that bourbon, that drizzle bourbon. Mixed with the pecans. They are nice and crunchy too. <laughs> it's like you're in heaven, huh? Wow. What do you give it, babe? Five out of five. Wow. It's freaking magtastic. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what an amazing 
date night tonight. Ooh. <laughs> it was so good. Yes, Polite Pig is Polite a highly, Pig we was, highly recommend it, guys. Yes. If you love barbecue, you can't go wrong with the Polite Pig. Yes, right? everything like we said inside Polite Pig, it was amazing. All the meats were yes. high quality, Mac the Mac seasoning. <laughs> yes, everything was incredible. Mm -hmm. So I would say compared to the other restaurants, if you're looking for something casual, yeah. date night, Definitely. something at, if you're here at Disney Springs, and you, and love you barbecue? don't want like, if you love barbecue and you don't want like a full sit down restaurant, then this is the place that we recommend. Yeah, very Definitely. chill vibes, the atmosphere, yeah. the service. Uh, that service. bar was nice the with bar? all the bourbon. If you guys are into bourbon, wow. Uh, they and they have tap. tons of bourbon awesome and drinks. beers there. Wow. And uh, the service, shout out to Alan and Elvis. Yes. They were our servers. They were excellent. You guys were magtastic. Magtastic, guys. <laughs> And yes. uh, shout out to uh, uh, Tim and, and Tim, Tim from, from South, South Dakota. Dakota. Nice meeting you guys. We had a great conversation. Yes, yeah. love meeting you guys. I hope you guys have a magtastic vacation. Definitely, definitely. Yes. <laughs> uh, guys, if you found this video useful, delicious, fun in any way, remember to like, share, and subscribe. subscribe. And guys, please follow our socials. Uh, please follow our Instagram. We're trying to get to a thousand followers. Mm -hmm. That is our goal. Uh, with your help, I know we can get there. Uh, please follow all our socials like Twitter, like TikTok, <laughs> like Insta and uh, like I said, Instagram, Instagram, and Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Don't forget Facebook. Don't forget Facebook. And guys, we do have Mactastic merch. If you're just yes. if you're just in rep uh, 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 supporting us, we have great clothes. We got great T-shirts yeah. with our logo. There's pants. There's, there's crop pants. Tops. Yeah. There's there's a Disney bacon yes. uh, shirt there's and the sweaters. <laughs> there's also. dangerous drinks, like yeah. Magnus says. <laughs> All that. So if you guys have time to uh, visit our merch store, we appreciate that. Check out the link below on the description, please. <laughs> guys, today was a great day. Today was a Mactastic day. day. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you on the next Mactastic production. Bye, Bye. guys.